What's going on everybody? This is Bo. Bo is here. Okay, so right here by the sliding door uh, used to be uh, just a seat, the cushion right here. Uh, most of the time uh, I don't use, I don't sit here. I just put, you know, keys and stuff uh, on it when we are, uh, you know, we're out and stuff. We have plenty of seats all around here. So I decide to tear it off and raise it up a little bit. Well, yeah, to 36 inches. And I'm gonna put a sink right here. Yeah, this side is still the same. I just raised it up and then uh, with all my um, controller speakers on this side still. And uh, this is 21 inches. I don't want it to stick out anymore uh, than the, the bed, existing bed. And by 30 inches, but I'm gonna have like a, uh, the extended uh, uh, counter space or something. Um, this is a standalone uh, sink, uh, meaning uh, the water system is separated from um, the shower that I have over there. And I am using two uh, six, ga uh, six, and, uh, six gallon jugs like this. Quick connect uh, from the one for fresh water and one for the gray water. This is for this is for the um, uh, sink. So uh, this cap already came with the jug. What I do, I do is I I buy the uh, quick connect here and just uh, make a hole in the cap and fresh water however I have um, uh, that the, yeah the connector here uh, I have the uh, half inch pipe that extends to all the way to the bottom of the jug so that's that's all it is very simple and this is a quick connect you order it came in a pair and all you have to do is just press that, put it in, okay, clip, when it's full, disconnect, comes off really easy. So I just want to, you know, make it really simple. Alright, and yeah, I have a different, a separate um, uh, water pump and everything. Then I have a little bit more storage underneath here. So on the top, it's going to be uh, a 13 by 15 inches um, stainless steel sink and stainless steel um, faucet. So instead of leaving this back side blank, I just want to create something that looks like, you know, a, a backsplash. So I found this thing on Amazon. This is aluminum. Okay. it's. Thin aluminum, and and it's uh, in the middle. It's like a uh, synthetic material that it, that um, water resistance, you know, mildew resistance. And then on the back side, one hundred percent three M backing tape, and it's super sticky. Uh, size uh, three inches by six inches. Okay. You can uh, create it to make it look like a subway tile by, you know, uh, uh, zigzagging it, crisscrossing it, whatever style you want. just want to make it blank straight. I don't have to deal with cutting and stuff like that. So uh, we'll see how it comes out. But so far, I like it. It's, you know, smooth something. And it's waterproof. It is... Uh, uh, mildew resistance. Uh, right now, I don't have the countertop yet. This is not my countertop. Uh, it's uh, it's supposed to arrive to uh, tomorrow, and it's gonna be a, a nice countertop. It's gonna be inch and a half uh, butcher block. So we'll see how it looks. Again, I just want to show you how this look. Okay, this is real real alum aluminum here. Now I just peel the back and 
and paste. No need cement, no nothing, no glue needed. There, paste it and press. Okay, and then it has the film protecting. Peel it off. Okay, it's aluminum finish. It looks really nice. All right, my back splash is done. Next, I'm going to uh, uh, go ahead uh, do the mold and pre-cut the hole for the the sink. So when my countertop comes, I have the measurement ready to cut. But don't you like it? I will uh, put the links of, of these below if you guys interested. Uh, I think it costs about 70 cents per per uh, sheet and this is really light, really light aluminum. Okay, so this is an uh, overview of the sink I have here. So here, let's take a look from the overall overview okay something like that so I have my uh, the uh, water pump over there that will suck the water out from this one go to one side of the pump and comes out from this side goes to the sink and then the um, dirty water goes in here and then on this side uh, I have open space for storage okay there's a shelf there and more storage underneath where my speakers and stuff on this side here so all right let's um right now just waiting for the countertop again hopefully it gets here today i i really like this thing because it's not that big it's good for a small space like this it's a uh, uh, stainless steel it's really thick i think it's a 16 gauge uh, stainless steel and it comes with the uh what do you call it the rack for the, the drainer and also it comes with what well, this is the template for the cutout and it includes the the drain which is big drain okay but then it a, a reducer to a one and a half inch which fit perfect with my my uh, uh, under drain hose right here and yes it, I don't have to to worry about getting any other extension or reducer and then it goes straight into the tank with a quick connect the reason I put uh, a clear uh, pipe right here it uh, it's kind of uh, two things um, it fits perfect into uh, into this uh, connecting uh, pipe right right here holes right here to here uh, this is a half inch uh, clear flexible and then also I can see if the if it, it is full I can see the water up here now the only thing uh, bad the, the bad side about this kind of a, a drain is um, when it's full you know it's gonna spill so when you take it out it's gonna spill out so um, just dump it every now and then before it's full. Just try to remember that. that that's a bad thing about it. Uh, but we'll take care of it. I don't think that that's a big problem. Look at that. Yeah, it's, it's insulated and it, it, it has the... Um, what it called is the um, 
Oh, the vibration, the control, the, oh, what is that called? Uh, whatever that called. <laughs> whatever that is called. So that white countertop is just my temporary one because my my order did not arrive on time. I just want to uh, put that to use over the weekend. However, we didn't even get to use it. It looks good in the white anyway. If I ever change my mind later, I'll, I'll put the white one. Uh, but uh, this is what I I'm doing right now. So on this side, I I since I have. A little bit of empty space beside the uh, sink right here. I'm making a drawer right here. I'm putting one drawer right here. It's about 10 inches wide and 20 inches deep. So how do I put a drawer? Okay, um, I run this uh, aluminum extrusion, one on this side and one on the other side. And then I can attach the drawer slide into it. <laughs> Like so, here's my screw here. Okay, one uh, screw in here too. You can put more screw if it is not strong enough. But uh, it is good. And now I have both sides um, mounted. I can go ahead and uh, measure the wood and cut to make my my um, drawer. Yes, yeah, so this is the overall view um, of my frame you can see I'm using aluminum frame again and now I'm I'm pre-installing these uh, um, 90 degree angles or bracket if you will so that when I can when I put my countertop I can just screw from the bottom of each one to hold it There you have it you guys my brand new sink it looks so awesome so this is uh, a one and a half inch uh, wood block uh, espresso color and it comes in 25 inches in width so I I cut the back here and then use it uh, as a back splash right here so it's, it comes out perfect. Um, I'm going to have another extension right here. So as far as I think, it's done. It's, it, it is um, functional. I just need to uh, install the doors. This thing comes with this. The uh, racks right here. The little drainer. And the plug right here. And then a towel that you can wipe it off without scratching the sink isn't that awesome 
All right, I hope you enjoy uh, this video and it gives you some kind of information that you can learn uh, from. And if you have any question, you can uh, leave comment down below and I will link all these materials that I use um, in the description below also. And thanks again, please. Don't forget to subscribe and give me thumbs up if you like this video and I will see you next time. Oh yeah, no, no, no. I also, you see it's shiny. I I uh, apply two coats of a uh, uh, polyurethane um, clear coat. So uh, it is uh, protecting the, from the, um, the water and stuff. So yes, I did that. All right, bye-bye.